Hey everyone, that time once again, and you know, you go by Rotten Tomatoes and you go by the Rotten Tomato rating for all three films that premiered this weekend, the big ones, I don't think you'll hit 50%, and we're going to take a look at one of those films today, and it's an animated feature called Strange Magic that was produced, and the story written by Mr. George Lucas, giving us the story of Marianne, who's a princess, who is about to get married, a fairy princess, and unfortunately her heart is broken, so she suddenly becomes a warrior princess and defends her land from the evils of the dark forest and protect those in her land all the while thinking she's never going to find true love again but when her sister is kidnapped by the bog king who wants a love potion returned to him uh, she decides to venture into the dark forest to go rescue her sister all the while her friends are out to try to get that love potion back and get it to the bog king before moon down strange magic. Now I'm going to stay right off the fact the animation in this film phenomenal. I really enjoyed the animation in this movie. There was translucency in the skin. The color palette was great. I loved the art direction in here to design the differences between the two worlds that live next to each other. Uh, the designs of the characters. Really enjoyed all of that visually. So visually stunning film. Go figure from producer George Lucas. Uh, that You can't deny that the animation looked really well. It's when you get into those other pesky things like plot and story that things tend to fall apart a little bit. Now, I'm also going to add I did enjoy the character designs. We have Alan Cumming in here playing the Bog King. Very good voice acting in here. And I enjoyed the Bog King. In fact, he's probably my favorite character in here. How they wrote him. How he's kind of the bad guy, not the bad guy. But I enjoyed the Bog King and his design and how they drew him and, and just his character in general. Probably the, my favorite character in here. And then you have Evan Rachel Wood voicing Mary Ann, the, the, the warrior princess. And outside of how she starts out in this film and how she ends, the middle part of this film, really enjoyed her character as well. And enjoyed the scenes between her and Alan Cumming. Uh, the Marianne and the Bog King really have some of the more uh, highlights of this movie. They, they have some of the higher points, and I really enjoyed the conversations, and I really wish it would have focused just on those two, but it doesn't. We have some uh, a few other storylines going on in here, and I think that's where this thing starts to fall apart and get clunky, is in the extra plot lines that they have in here. You really are hard to kind of focus on what story, you know, and where you're going with it. It's almost like two separate films going on in here. <laughs> you know, and just, it, it, there's a, an abundance of musical numbers in here as well. And while you do like that in some musicals, and I know what they were going for, I would have rather had them retract, reduce the number of vocals uh, musical numbers in here. They're, some of them are short, some of them are longer. Some of, most of them are, feel like they're in here to replace regular dialogue that would have fit better in this movie. And in doing so, I think some kids are going to get bored by the sheer volume of musical numbers, especially for the fact that they're probably not going to recognize all of them. Now, they're picking musical numbers that a parents are going to probably pick out right away and get the theme of it and go, kind of, ha-ha, okay, that's what they're going for. But the, <laughs> the dialogue in here in between the musical numbers and that isn't probably Probably going to engage the parent either. So you've got a film that isn't exactly haha -ha funny for the kids, although they may uh, uh, like the imp that's in here and some of the other cutesy characters, but you also got a film that isn't going to appeal to adults because it's so saccharine sweet and uh, poorly written that they're just, it's going to take them out of the film. You know, and it's unfortunate because there's a lot of potential here. Don't get me wrong, there are moments in this film, there are moments in this film, especially with the Sugar Plum Fairy who's voiced by Kristen Chenoweth, who who also was in The Boy Next Door this weekend, so this is like a double feature for her uh, of films to premiere this weekend. But unfortunately, this film as well is rather weak, though her performance in here was strong and entertaining. Uh, folks, it's bad when you watch a film when you can see that there's so much potential for it to be really, really great, but they end up not going in the direction you want them to go in or handling it like they should. And so in the end, you get a middle-of-the-road kind of meh film that probably would have served better going direct to video and video on demand than going to the big screen. I can only give this film two stubs, okay? Two stubs. Uh, the stubs were f uh, for the animation, which did wow me, and I did like the concept and the characters they had, just what they did with those and the lack of potential they had, plus the over-excessive amount of musical numbers in here. And don't get me wrong, I enjoy musicals. Just took me out of the film to where I thought it was just, meh, okay, maybe take it, you know, with a matinee price 
breaks, but even then, uh, for the younger kids, I don't think, I think they might get just a little bit bored with it. So, and I could be wrong. Please weigh in on Strange Magic. Let me know what you thought of this film. I, while I don't think it deserves the total amount of hate that it's getting, I can see where a lot of that criticism is justified and deserved. And it's unfortunate because there's just a whole lot of potential here for Strange Magic to be a lot better than what it ended up being. And that'll about do it for us here at the Final Cut. Thanks for watching. Until next time, keep that ticket stopped.